Hello everyone, welcome back to the Premiere Pro tutorial. This is a quick one. I'm going to show you how to create a end credit crawl or a rolling end credits or an end credit roll. It's very easy to do in Premiere Pro 2024, but there's a few steps. If you miss them, eh, it gets a little ugly. So let's go ahead and delete everything and let's start from scratch. Okay. The first step is you want to go down here to your new item and under new item. And if you don't see this, just go ahead and make sure that the project panel down here at the bottom left is nice and big. Click on new item and then we're going to go ahead and create a black video. Now it's going to create a, a few second long video like this here into project panel. Drag and drop that into the timeline. And right now mine is set to five seconds long or so. So I mean depending on how much credits you have, let's go ahead and just extend it out to 10 seconds or so so you can see this a little bit better here. Okay. Let's move the playhead out. So we've added in our black video. Now we're going to go ahead and change the workspace from window, go up here to window, and go to workspaces and then switch it from whatever your default is to captions and graphics. It's very important. And then under captions and graphics, you'll see the essential graphics panel. If you do not see that, go to window, make sure there's a check mark beside essential graphics. Now click on the edit button and this is where it gets a little fun. So under edit, you're going to see this little new item or new layer part of me. Click on new layer and then click on text. Now this is pretty obvious. I'm just going to go ahead and move the text over to the left side. I've got it set to Helvetica, but you can set it to any font you'd like. And then I'm just going to go ahead and type in director. Oops, let's just do it correctly. Director. And then I'm going to hit the tab button, maybe two, three, and I'm going to go Curtis Pike. Oops, let's try that again. I hit the wrong button. Director, Curtis Pike. And obviously this, the spacing isn't quite correct, so let's go with something like that. Okay, good. Now, I've gone ahead and created Director. And then to keep going, I'm going to go through this very quickly. Oops, I'm going to go through this really quickly. I'm just going to hit Enter, and then I'm going to go Actor, and then tap, 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 tap. And then I'm going to go, I don't know, Mickey Mouse. And then uh, Makeup. You see the point here. I'll just go quickly here, and this will be uh, Joe Mama. Okay, so these are my these are my people that worked on it. Nice and simple here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the selection tool, and just to make sure, I'm going to go to align and transform, and I'm just going to make sure that it's set to align center horizontally. Now here is the critical part. Uh, depending on what you're doing here, what you want to do is you actually, when you're in the essential graphics panel, click outside of the. Uh, text here. So I'm on the text panel or the text. You can see it's lit up. Click outside of it. And when you do that, now all of a sudden you're going to see responsive design time roll. When I click on roll, you're going to see that it's created this cool little doodaddy here, this little slider on the end. And now watch. And I hit space bar. It's all of a sudden rolling. If you are selected on the text itself, this won't show up. So you got to click outside of it. And finally, if you really want to, you can pre-roll. Uh, you can ease it in a little bit. So if you want it to go slow at the beginning, let's say we had like a couple of, wanted to ease out and ease in, kind of like, you know, the keyframe type action. Let's just go ahead with that and then watch this. You'll see that it goes slow and then it speeds up and then it goes slow at the end. So this is all there is to it. You can adjust these as you see fit. That's how you create a end credit roll in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching.